Ducky phone. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Twisted Koi. For those of you who are new, welcome. I'm Vince, this is Twisted Koi, and these are my exploits and uh, adventures in my Koi life. And I say life because, to me, it is part of my life. It's not just a hobby. It's not just a pastime. But anyway, I digress. What am I up to today? Well, I'm doing some improvements on the pool for the fry, who are thriving really, really well. I'll be seeding in the, uh, the old pool with some uh, Daphnia later on today. But what I'm doing is I'm adding some extra sponge filters and a slightly bigger air pump. So yeah, a bit of Heath Robinson going on here as well. So I've had to mix and match a few bits and pieces. And uh, let, let me spin you around. So what I've got in here at the moment, as you know, is one of these little sponge aquarium things. I'll be able to take them out and give them a clean. Now I've got some more going in. These are just brand new sponges. So leave them in to get nice and thick and everything else but we've got loads of activity absolute loads so yeah i'm really really pleased over the moon in fact so what i'm gonna do because i've got no glass to stick these to i've got some bottles i'll fill them with sand put some water in give it a bloody good shake Water drops, top back up, give it a bloody good shake, do that two or three times and we've got the perfect weight to attach my sponge filters to, to hold them near the bottom and work absolutely beautifully. Well, that's the plan anyway. So I've got a tricks round from that pump to this four, four outlet pump. So I'm going to keep the two sponge ones in the middle. Uh, I'm going to put them closer together in the middle and then these two I'm going to put either side so I can see if I can start getting a little bit of a directional flow going. So yeah, that's the plan. Uh, whoever doesn't know what it's fucking doing at the moment, one minute it's boiling hot sun, next minute it's cloudy and fucking chilly. But enough of my digression. I'm going to get on because I don't want to leave the air pump off too long, especially with these temperatures. So I will be back to you when I get it up and running. Well, cupcakes, I had to change the uh, the old air pump, that pump that Dad gave me. Dad, you shithead. Only pumps out on two. So what I've got... Oh, God, that's fallen over now. Stay put in your shit bag. It was staying put just a minute ago. Under your phone, you dickhead. Fucking twat. I've got that one to stand still. I'll put you here a second. It was working fine. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I might have to put a bit more sand in that, that there bottle like I did with that one over there. But... That's what we got going on at the moment. Like I say, we got the two little ones in the middle. And then, like I say, we got these air pump ones, these uh, fish tank ones. Going around, giving them a little bit of uh, a current. Been chatting with, uh, chatting my man Davey for Black Country Koi Bloke. Check his channel out, cracking bloke. Uh, should be down this week or next weekend. That'll be good. Can't wait for him to see these. 
Oh, I really can't wait for them to see these. But yeah, it's very interesting times here at Tested Towers. But I tell you what, look at how clear this water is. <laughs> I wanted a green water pond. Methinks the plant filters are working a wee bit too good because there isn't even blanket weed. <laughs> isn't even blanket weed. I mean, absolute fucking craziness. Uh, we will be uh, thinning some of them plants out. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Either Saturday or Sunday, Kyle from what is now going to be Macakoy. <laughs> He's my man. Good lad. Go check his channel out. Oh, fucking hell, that's falling over. I'm going to have to get some more fucking uh, sand in this bottle. I'll put you down, sort this out, and we'll come back and have a little, uh, little chat. Whoo! Sweating me tits off. Boy, it's fucking hot out here, I'm telling you. But, yep, got that. Chugging away quite nicely. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's everything done out here today until I bring out some food for them and uh, and that but yeah now go and finish off making the uh, B B B S H also known as the barnyard by Heinz shrimp hatchery <laughs> oh no I missed, messed that up didn't I <laughs> the boneyard baby brine shrimp hatchery Triple B S H. Yeah, I said that to Davy last night, and he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Bless him, good lad, absolutely fucking awesome lad. Go and check his channel out. He's going through a pond rebuild. Good lad. Anyway, I'm going to stop flapping my gums, and I'm going to go and get this shrimp hatchery uh, filled up and running, so then I can start banging them in here tomorrow. Catch you later. Tomorrow. Howdy doody from the fucking Barnet fucking wonder. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm catching up then. And uh, welcome back to Twisted Koi Cupcakes. It's Saturday morning. It is Saturday morning because it's 10 to 12. So it's, it's still Saturday. the morning. It's still the morning. It's Saturday. It yep, and we got a couple of the guys down here at the moment. You know that fucking reprobate behind me there, but he's he, he's becoming part of the fucking furniture here. But but we've all we've also got this one down here. Oh oh Macacoy, Kyle there, and Brett there from Kiri Koi. Two wicked channels. Do me a favour, go over there, give them a like, give them a subscribe, and tell them the fucking twisted one sent ya. <laughs> and we've been. Uh, we're just chatting at the moment about my uh, my front pond. I mean, yes, it's been a week or so since the fish have been in there, but the levels are absolutely perfect. But the conundrum for me is the fact that this pond in the front is in constant sun. And I mean, I've documented loads of times about how many leagues part the, the temperature differences between here and the back now my problem is when i spin you around and show you my front pond is crystal and i mean fucking crystal clear and not a bit of blanket weed in fucking sight so for my main pond that gets sun but not as much as it does out here I got fucking string algae, blanket weed, fucking everywhere. So how the fuck do you work that one out? The only thing we can put it down to is the veg base and the airlift. You see what I mean? Look. Absolutely fucking crystal clear. You got a tiny strand over there with blanket weed, but you look anywhere else. In the pond, not a fucking bean. So, 
The conclusion to that, as far as I'm concerned, Absolutely. airlifts and plant bed filters run by airlifts work fucking well. <laughs> and the reason I say that is because, really, I wanted it looking like that. That was the attention when I built the front pond, was for it to look like that, for putting fry in and so forth and so on. Talking about fry, oh man, they're doing really well. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Here we go, they're doing well. I don't remember that, I've got camera for you. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, so they're doing really well. Daphne are starting to colonise in there now as well. Even better. But yeah, I will keep them on the boiled egg for, uh, for another week or so. And uh, the reason being for that is... Uh, I watch a lot of uh, my man G Love from Colossal Koi out in America. My man G Love, fuck me, he's done some spawnings this year. Yeah. Three, yeah. three successful spawnings. G Love, my brother, I am so fucking happy for you. But yeah, absolutely fucking blown away. But G Love, he feeds his fry the old uh, egg yolk for about two weeks. And he's the only person I've seen doing it for that period of time. In fact, I was actually chatting with uh, Davey, uh, Black Country Koi Black, go over here, give him a like, subscribe, and tell him the twisted one soon now. And we were chatting, and he usually stops the egg after about four or five days, I think it was, he said. He'll, no doubt he'll correct me in the comments, please do. And uh, even he was saying that after watching G Love's videos and seeing the growth, on his fry and don't uh, we have got to take into account that G Love's temperatures over there will be more con consistent than ours is over in the UK so yeah got to take that into consideration as well but he's been feeding his fry for the last two weeks on egg as well as the natural food they find in the pond and they're fucking huge so yeah I will be giving it a trial and uh, we've worked it out and these are either five or six days old now so yeah another week of egg yolk and i know for a fact it's teeming with natural life in there so uh yeah i'm actually thinking well i've got a couple couple of questions to ask someone but then i'm thinking of doing a couple of things that might help me out in the long run when it comes to sorting so yeah we'll come back to you on that one uh turtles are ticking over well sibs running like it does absolutely wicked the guys are chatting and uh i'm gonna go and put the kettle on so we will come back to you shortly well cupcakes the weather is glorious in fact it's fucking roasting. These two are just about ahead on the road. Just about to buy it uh, up. Buy, 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 <laughs> just about to bag up Kyle's, uh, Kyle's fish. And then he will be off at max speed, as we know he always will. Whee! Yay. See you on the side, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'll bag this fish up. Uh, we'll let you have a quick look at it before I put it in the bag. And then these guys are off because it's bloody hot. I'm going to get this fish home so it's all right. Exactly the same. Anyway, let me spin this camera around and we'll have a look at this fish. So, here we go. The unusual achiever is now going to Makakoi. I'm going to send him, I'm going to send him some pictures and uh, some video clips of what it was like when it was younger. He'll probably put something together on his channel then. Yeah, added to it and that, put some things together. But yeah. Well, it's been an awesome night afternoon, guys. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Yeah, it has. It's been lovely. It's Wicked. Great, great weather. 
fantastic, it really is. I'm blown away. I've been Brett, this has been Kerry Coy, and I'll see you watching later. this fish for a while now. <laughs> As you know, Vince, you know, it's. I can't believe, like I said, you can't keep them all. Can't keep them all, Brett. Can't, can't keep them all. And uh, you'll get to see it grow and develop as, you know, as. Oh, fuck, I, I know that. From my videos and when you eventually get yourself up to mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, yeah, on that note, this is Saturday. Visitors at Twisted Towers. I've been Twisted Coy. You've been great. And I'll catch you all on the next one. There go the Northern Nut Job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking smashing afternoon. The next day. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Twisted Koi. Yeah, I didn't do any video yesterday, but we did get shit done. Uh, sadly, I was let down by a friend uh, on some blocks, so yeah, I had to do a trick for wicks. The car can only take eight blocks at a time, so yeah, eight blocks it was. So we managed to get eight blocks in yesterday. I've got a good foundation in now so I can start completing the back wall. Uh, I very much doubt I'll have any done today, but it depends if I can get to Wix or not. But things are looking good in the ponds. Toast side tank's looking a bit empty. Let me spin you around. So, yeah. These big kiddies are all doing fine. Even the little kiddies in there are now mingling with the, the bigger ones. But now I'm getting some space in the tow side tank. Some of the smaller ones like the little Goshki, uh, the little Doitsaka Matsubas uh, will go over here in the tow side tank. And if you haven't checked Kyle Sargasson's uh, Latest video, that's uh, Kyle from uh, MAKC uh, Koi. As you will see, there is no longer an unusual achiever in the Tosai tank. In fact, the Tosai tank is looking relatively empty, to be totally honest. So, yeah, that's ticking away quite nicely. Some light on the situation, skimmer's given a good clean, but yep, I managed to get nine blocks in yesterday. So we got one, two, three, four, five that gives us four high all the way along six, seven, eight, nine. So, what does the next step will be is will be to put ten. 11 and then work round that way as in we will fill in that bit there first and then we will go upwards and outwards as best as I can yeah upwards and outwards the best that I can so today will be a case of uh, moving the air pump to its uh, final location uh, giving the Tempest a bloody good clean because I've got to take the Tempest and the UV offline so I can get that corner built so then once it's built and gone, gone off I can then get the Tempest and the UV back in place and up and running. So yeah, we're getting there slowly, slowly being the operative word. But one thing that isn't going slowly is the growth of the fry, especially the ones in fish tank. There's six in there now. Three, I think, are from the, the, the second spawning, but you've got one in there, he's fucking huge now. I mean, he is yeah along with two other tobies that i've managed to catch up and get put in there uh but yeah things are coming along out there i've got one of the double uh sponge filters going now so oh. 
so yeah, that's that's how that's going. And what I will do is I will take you out the front, and then uh, I will wrap this video up, and this will be the end of the the weekend waffling. So let's see if we can see any. Oh, in fact, speak of the devil would help if I turned the fucking camera around, wouldn't it? But if you remember back, oh look, there's one of the Tobies. Look at that fat gut on it. But look at him. Oh my word, is he getting big? Mind you, they are dining on. <laughs> they are dining on Daphne are in there. I mean, there's number two of the Tobies. And like I say, I know these have got. Loads of Daphne are in there. And I mean, loads of Daphne are in there. I mean, they're breeding like fucking rabbits in there. In fact, they're probably breeding quick. Probably breeding quicker than fucking rabbits. So, yeah, they're going to get a little sprinkle of stage one now. Oh, if I can get the fucking lid off. sprinkler stage one let me turn the camera around so yeah they get a little sprinkle I know they got dining on Daphne but every little helps as they say and you'll find that the Daphne will feed on that ultra fine foods as well but yeah there you go there's one of the Tobies well I call them Tobies I, I honestly think these ones are from the first spawning. So, so yeah, super, super happy face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just so over the moon. So I'm still floating up here, considering it was, uh, we got really hot weather. Fuck it, let's give it a go. Oh my word, I am over the moon. So anyway, I'll put you on pause and I'll pick you back up out the front. So yeah, yeah, again, yeah, it is leagues apart out here, I'm telling you, in this front garden. Absolutely unreal. But yeah, the pool's chugging along quite nicely. It's uh, cleared up a hell of a lot since I put the double filter in. I'll check the sponges on there in a bit. But yeah. It is teeming with life in here, both fry-wise and uh, live food-wise. They do tend to stick round the edges. But yeah, there is lots and lots of movement. So yeah, next order of the morning. Boiled egg and a bit of uh, stage one food. my morning look on the corners I mean there's what 10 15 in there and that's just a gentle tiny little scoop Uh, yeah, really, really happy. Nice and gently. We don't want to damage any of them. Now I'm still in two mines at the moment on whether to take the brushes out and put them in a floating net so I can start separating the fry out from the brushes to ultimately get the brushes out of the pool because as you can see the brushes tend to hold on to a hell of a lot of crap I mean I have I have been doing uh, water tests and I know I don't usually uh, uh, bopping and skating about 
so yeah i mean i i chat very uh very often with uh davy black country koi bloke and uh and he says to uh, leave the brushes in for about four weeks uh, they won't be moved until to the front pole until they're they're at least six weeks and that's when i'll do my first selection uh, and that will that will literally just be body shape deformities anything that's got deformity psh, you're out of there you know and uh, anything that's bigger than everything else psh, you're out of there you'll go into the tank out there so yeah glorious day again uh gonna get on and get the jobs done out the front here and get two pieces of perspex back over the top of that and get a shaded area for them and then I've got to sort out another big bottle and the uh, and the other sponge filter in here and what I will also do is I'll drop drop some water out of the uh, the fish tank and what I'll do is I'll just siphon that and any daphnia that come out will go into into, into the pool and then I will top the tank back up with uh, water from the front pond like I've been doing with the pool. So, yeah, that's the Monday morning roundup and this will end the weekend's waffling. So on that note, cupcakes, I've been Twisted Koi. You've all been great and I'll catch you all on the next one. It's never too old to be twisted! Da, 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 that's all, cupcakes!